When I told my friends that I would like to build the first eco up, most of them said, oh, you are coming to 60, you should just save your energy. It's uh, something that I feel passionate about. I hope to be able to feed people uh, with healthy fish. And uh, with that desire in my heart, I push on to put all my money into this industry. We go out healthy and sustainable fish! <laughs> The problem that the most farmers face are something that they can't react with. Uh, algae bloom is one example. Algae bloom hits any part of the world due to climatic change and human polluting the sea. Whatever fish you grow in the net cage will all, will all be dead. So therefore, if we want to farm fish in an intensified way that can feed the people, the technology must come in. So now you are in the hatchery. We normally start off with 1 million eggs. They are about 14 days old. Sea bass, great snapper and grouper right here. Right in front of us here, uh, this is our seawater inlet. What we do in Aqua is basically water quality. If the first input water quality is good, it's just like human living in clean air. If the water quality is good, there is no need to use antibiotics to cure the fish and there is no need to vaccinate the fish. Uh, right now, we are in the basement of the Iqua. We are currently now six meters below sea level. Uh, if you look at it carefully, the fish is swimming against the current. The current is delivery created, it's like a vortex flow, similar to the ocean condition. Therefore, our fish grow much leaner and they eat better also. Investors, many of them were very apprehensive. They think that uh, this will be a high capex uh, uh, investment and uh, not proven. Honestly, I never knew I would have the money to even build it. I'm very thankful uh, that my wife said that, you know, maybe you should chase your dream. Uh, don't stop where you are. So you know how I built it? Actually, my house went on block. It's my wife's money. I always tell her I owe her millions of dollars.
You feel ready? Not yet. Okay, throw, throw. Our team that we have are very dedicated. The young people must be able to want to grow with the industry and suffer a little bit of hardship. They have to bear with unforeseen circumstances. At a certain time, the fish begin to fall sick. Many of them actually work round the clock in certain occasions. setting. It's not like office job is not that boring. You get to experience sea breeze, sunrise. And the other thing is we produce food that the Singaporean can consume. It's a job that I find value in it. You harvest the fish in less than 100 meters, you reach a processing plant. And in less than 10 meters, you reach the boat that brings out the fish to shore. That to me is a true, unbroken, shortest food mouth supply. In a peak time, we should be able to produce 160 tons of fish a year. But definitely, at least in the fall of 20 times more per hectare in many of the farm around us. Ever since we started this shop and even on our on online, uh, local support has been uh, very good because uh, they have tasted what local fish is all about. We are quite impressed. Uh, the, the, the price is like you know, overseas. Huh? We should do whatever we can to be a bit more self sufficient. Huh? The meat is very sweet. Huh? We are very tender. always <laughs> up to something. I, I know he's got lots and lots of ideas and so this one has materialized not only because of my support in everyone's effort, everyone who believes in what he has he has invented. Yeah. I'm so happy to see family coming down to get fish home to feed the family. And that's why I think that it's all worth it.